Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Hassan, and today we are going to create child theme and install on WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request. Please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So our active theme is 2020. So we are going to create child theme of 2020. And creating a child theme is an excellent way of adding permanent customization to your theme. If you are making a lot of edits to your WordPress website via function.php file, you know that every time you update that theme, the changes you make get lost. One way of preserving them is by using a child theme. So our active theme is 2020. So go to hosting. And we are in theme folder. So we are going to create folder. Now click on create new folder and then write your child theme name 2020 and then add dash or iPhone symbol and then write child. Then click on confirm to create folder. So folder is created now. Here you see 2020 child. Now open this folder. So we are going to create style.css file. So now click on new file and then write name style.css and then click on confirm. So we are going to add code in style.css. So right click on it and click on edit. So file is open. So paste code here and you will find this code in video description or in comment section. You see on top slash and static. This signifies that this code will be commented out in CSS so WordPress does not try to execute it. You will have to add a required header command at a very top of the file in order for the style sheet to actually work. This command contains basic info about the child theme including that it is a child theme with a particular parent theme. And you really only need to include two things. Theme name. This is theme name is 2020 child and template this is parent theme name 2020 and this is our theme name child and remaining you can add according to your requirement you can add author description and other stuff and you will find all this code in video description or in comment section and then click on save file click on save so file is saved now now back to folder and create new file function.php so click on create new file and write here functions dot php and click on confirm so file is created now and in style dot css you can add custom css later when you are ready to begin customizing your child theme now open function dot php file so we will add code in it so file is open now we will enqueue the parent and child theme style sheet so paste code here and you will find this code in video description or in comment section this code will ensure two things. First, that the child theme inherit its parent theme styling. So when you activate your child theme, you are not just looking at a bunch of unstyled text. And second, that the child theme style sheet is loaded before the parent theme without overriding it. That way, once you add custom CSS and otherwise modify your child theme, these modifications will replace certain styles and function of the parent theme. Now click on save file. Click on save. Now file save done and go to WordPress dashboard again and refresh the theme page. Now you see here 2020 child. So this is our web page. Refresh the web page. Now you see this is style format and now activate child theme. So click on activate. Now child theme is activated. Now click on theme detail. So click on it and then you see 2020 child and this is version and by author name and 2020 child theme and this is child theme of 2020 and go to web page and refresh the page again now you see format is same when we activate child theme and you will find all code in video description or in comment section so in this way you can create child theme and you can modify child theme according to your requirement and style you can add functions there and you can add CSS in style.css in child theme and if you update your parent theme then this change is not replace or remove. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.